Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to prove this type of trigonometric question. So you have to prove that the LHS is equal to the RHS. So what do we do here? Yes, either you start with the LHS and prove that it's equal to RHS or you start with the RHS and prove that it's equal to the LHS. So which side do we start with? Yes, I think it's better if we start with the LHS because that looks more complicated. Always start with the more complicated side friends. Okay, so I'll just copy down the LHS now. Now let's just observe what we have and what we have to prove. Now we have cot and cosec but what we have to prove doesn't have cot and cosec at all. It has only cos and sine. So what do I have to do? Yes, I have to convert cot and cosec to cos and sine. So how do you do that? Just apply the definition. That's it. So let me do that. Cos theta by sine theta. Yes, plus cosec is 1 by sine minus 1 divided by cos theta by sine theta minus 1 by sine theta plus 1. Yes. Now there are lots of fractions in numerator and denominator. So my first job, yes, is to resolve it. I need to take LCM. I think there's no other choice. See, the denominators are different. So friends, let's do that very carefully. Okay. Uh, yes. So here the denominator is same. So I'll get cos theta plus 1. Here the denominator is 1. So I need to multiply the numerator by sin theta. That's right. Okay. Now this is the numerator. Now instead of writing the denominator down, I'll just write division sign and then write the denominator. It makes things uh, look easier. Okay. So I'll put the LCM here again. It has to be sin theta, right? Okay. So this is cos theta minus 1 and yes, this is also sin theta. Okay. Now here we have a division sign but it's better if I convert it to multiplication. Okay. So let's do that. Now when I convert it to multiplication, I need to do the reciprocal. That's right. So let me reciprocate. Yes, sin theta will come in the numerator and this is what we get. Okay. Did you observe? I've got a sign in numerator and denominator. Wow. That's great. So I can cancel it out. What are we left with? Okay. Cos theta plus 1 minus sin theta divided by Yes, this is cos theta minus 1 plus sin theta. Wow, did you observe friends? These are the same terms. See, cos theta, sin theta 1 here also same. Only thing is the signs are different, is it not? Now, the good thing is that we've got everything in terms of sine and cos, which is what we want, but still further simplification is needed. Now, whatever identities we have, all are sine square and cos square. So, somehow I need to bring sine square, cos square here. Then further simplification can be done. Now, how do we do that? Well, one way is I can multiply numerator and denominator by the same term. Say so maybe by sine theta or cos theta, then I can get sine square or cos square. So that way I can apply the identity. So just remember that whenever you want sine square, cos square, try multiplying numerator and denominator by the same term. Now, so what are we going to do? Multiply numerator and denominator by sin theta or cos theta? What do you think? Now for that, let me again see what we want. We want sin theta in the denominator. So it seems logical if I multiply by sin theta. Okay, so that's how you decide to multiply by sin theta. Now I have tried to multiply by cos theta just as curiosity. I tried it out, but it was not working friends. So you have to become good in this part just by constant practice. And when you're practicing at home, try different methods. Don't just stick to one method of solving it. Try if you can do the same question by another method. Okay. So that way you will become better in this type of question. So let me just multiply by sine theta over here. Cos theta plus 1 minus sine theta. Now again observe what we want. We want sine theta in the denominator. So don't even think of bringing the sine theta inside here. Okay. Just leave it as it is. The denominator you don't even have to change. Okay. Now numerator I'll bring the sine theta inside. So I get cos theta sine theta yes plus sine theta minus sine square theta. Wow. Finally we've got the sine square theta. So let me immediately apply the identity. So I'll get cos theta sine theta plus sine theta minus 1 minus cos square theta but because there is a minus outside put the bracket friends don't forget here the denominator is the same I'll just write that now what do we do 
Well, again, see what we want. We want 1 plus cos theta in the numerator. Now, does this seem familiar? 1 plus cos square theta? Does it not look like a square minus b square? What is that? Yes, the identity a plus b into a minus b. So I can surely write this as this identity. Let's try that. Also, did you see there is a sine theta in both these terms? I can take it common. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I get 1 plus cos theta, which is good. And this I can write as yes, 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta. Again, denominator, same thing, copy. Wow, did you see 1 plus cos theta is common in both the terms. That's great. I'm going to take it common right away. And what is remaining is yes, sine theta minus this part is remaining. I'll keep it in bracket for the time being. And the denominator again, I have to write it as it is. Okay, yes. We are coming very close to the answer. 1 plus cos theta and sine theta, which we want, is already there. Let me just open up the bracket over there. Okay. So, sine theta minus 1 plus cos theta is what I am getting. And see, just see the same term is in the denominator. Amazing. So, I can very nicely cancel these two terms, which means I am getting 1 plus cos theta by sin theta, which is the RHS. So, friends, this is how you solve this question. So, I hope that you found this video useful. If so, do like the video, consider subscribing to enjoy math, and please leave your comments, your suggestions, your feedback in the comment section below. So, till we meet again, take care.